Hi crafters! I hope everyone is having safe and healthy and happy holidays. I wanted to do a quick haul video today. Um, I was absolutely spoiled this Christmas by my friends and family. So I wanted to show you um, this massive amount of crafty goodies that I got for Christmas. So uh, let's jump right in. So I got this new wow dual heat embossing heat tool um it has two settings so i'm excited about that um i have an older therese one but i really wanted this this dual heat so that i could you know cook things or warm things up at a, a lower temperature or dry things up at a lower temperature um if i need to as to you know prevent warping and things like that so i got this I got these awesome distress sprayers. I've been wanting these for a while. Um, I remember when Jennifer McGuire plugged them and she said that they were a little bit softer than her other brayers. So I wanted to give these a try um, primarily with my gel press. So I'll have to bust that out and play with that again. But I have the two different sizes. I have the two and a quarter inch and then the three and five sixteenths inch. And I will link whatever I can below in the video description box. Um, if you expand and scroll down, I'll put the information there, whatever I can find. Um, but I'm just going to keep going through what I got here. And I got this new Barely Art glue, Precision Craft glue. And it's got uh, multiple tips here. It looks like it has an ultra fine tip. A fine tip and a storage tip and they all twist on it looks like to this little bit here so that's pretty cool I'm excited to try this out I've seen a lot of people using this so I'm excited to give that a try put this away a minute now this was a big one that I got from my husband these are concentrated watercolors so liquid watercolors from Dr. P.H. Martin. So I'm excited to play with these. Got all these beautiful colors here. So excited to check that out. It's a nice set. Haven't opened it yet, but that'll be fun. I'm sure there'll be future videos where I'm playing with that. <laughs> um, got this. Um Aqua Flow Nuvo pens. It's in these sliced kiwi, yellow ochre, and caramel pecan. Get me those. I think these are in my stocking, maybe. Okay, now got lots of stamp sets here. Got Alta New. This is Dry Brush Poinsettia. This is a big stamp set. In fact, I might lift this up a little bit to give us some more room here. And it's got all these gorgeous winter wishes, tis the season, very merry, happy holidays. I think I'll definitely be using these next year, but it's got this beautiful layered poinsettia. My mind immediately goes to like what else I can make or what colors I can do to make it not look like a poinsettia to stretch my supplies. So that's kind of where my mind automatically goes, but definitely gorgeous for holiday card. And I love this little swoosh right here. It shows on this uh, depiction, but you can kind of, you know, add a little other design element onto the card. So it's something neat about Altenew, how they always give you different, you know, ideas and stuff like that. Okay, now this, sorry for my digging here. I had gotten, I spent my money from my dad and I had gotten more. Tailored Expressions, because y'all know how I am with these. This is the Man Myth Legend, the Simple Strips Sympathy, and the Simple Strips Thanks. So they're one big stamp. You stamp them all in one, you know, one go. And then you have one big die, and it cuts them all out in one go. And then you have these cool storage boxes. Which I'm sure you guys have seen me use these in videos before. But if you haven't, I will link another video where I explain how these work. But 
you can also get these boxes from Tailored Expressions and they have this little tray and they perfectly fit all the strips once you die cut them out. So got three more stamps, had to get three more boxes. I've kind of lost count on how many of these sets that I have because they're one of my most well used and often used products in my craft room. So you've got all these awesome sentiments here. Just let you take a look at them a moment. But these are all thank you based. This sympathy one, just very heartfelt, you know, nice, nice sentiments for the inside or the outside of the card. And then this is the man myth legend. This one made me laugh. <laughs> so it's got some best farter <laughs> crossed out fathers and father ever. These will definitely be getting used with the fathers in my life. So super excited about those. Put these out of the way. And then also, let me see if I can find. I apologize for all the wrinkling here. Oh, I'd also gotten this with my Christmas money from my my dad. But this is from Trinity Stamps. This is all thank yous. It's got these cool sub sentiments. I appreciate you. You're the best. Thankful. So you got all these nice big ones, and then the coordinating dies. We'll cut, you know, cut them out, and then also the shadow. So you could essentially stamp like this. Say so you want this in pink, right? So you stamp this in pink, and then you could either cut it out like right flush with the letters, like right here, or you could just do the outline around it. Or you could emboss it, or you could just cut it out in like a color card stock and not stamp at all. So this sort of this sort of stamp and die combo is really versatile. So and who doesn't need a million thank you cards, right? Especially all the thank yous for me to send out for these Christmas gifts that I got, right? <laughs> okay, my daughter gave me this in my stocking. Sizzix, and it is called Crafty Chica. So it's got coordinating dies, but it says muchas gracias. My daughter is bilingual. She's in a Spanish immersion school, so I love when I get stamps in Spanish. But it's got this crazy little detail. These would be fun to color, and then you can die cut them all out. So this is a fun little stocking stuffer. Okay, this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been wanting this one forever. It just makes me laugh. So it's called Clever Sausage. <laughs> oh, can't handle it. Clever Sausage, and this is by Julie Ebersol. So her stamps at Ellen Hudson just slay me. They're some of my favorite, <laughs> but it's got I'm the worst, like bratwurst, <laughs> sorry I missed your birthday, and then hot diggity dog, such a brat, so funny, and then well done you clever sausage, nice buns, sup dog. So you can like color this little sweater and put it on the dog, or you can make the dog a hot dog. He's got a skateboard, which is, you know, delightfully random. Um, this is totally my jam right here. Just silly and fun and punny. And I love this. I'm very excited about this. I was very stoked when I opened this gift. So there's that. Oh, I got two new of these metallic gilding polish. So this is the fern color. And so how these work, I've quite a few videos of these already, but you've got this polish in here and then you get my favorite part about it. You get these foams kind of built into the top. So they're a little hard to get out. You don't twist them. You just kind of push them off kilter and then they pop out. But you get these. If I can get it back in. Okay, I got the fern color. And then this one, I haven't had a glitter one like this, so I'll report back or I'll do a video about this and see if this makes any sort of difference. But I've been having a lot of fun playing with these, so I'm excited to add these. This is called Glitter Kiss. Same thing. It's got this. just don't know if it's any different consistency with the glitter or not. I guess we'll have to see on that. Okay, then I got 
these. Speaking of glitter, I've had these on my wish list for a while. I'm excited to, to try them out. These are Wow Glitter Embossing Powders. We have Metallic Silver Sparkle, Pearl Gold Sparkle, Metallic Copper Sparkle, Sparkle, <laughs> Sparker, <laughs> and Metallic Gold Sparkle. So, four different... They look just like glitter, but they're not. They're not just glitter. They're glitter embossing powder. So, try those out with my new heat tool. Okay, and then... Oh, my daughter found me this. I'll take it out so you can see it past the packaging. But Penny Black, Only You. So, for me, there's only you, hugging you, I love you, dreaming of you, you light up my life. So this would be handy to have for, you know, Valentine's Day. And I have no idea if it's available. I will, like I said, link it below if it is. And then, oh, looks like my hubby got some free scrappy tape in one of the orders. He's like, I don't remember ordering that. I'm like, oh yeah, you get free stuff all the time when you order from these craft stores. They're awesome like that. Oh, this I got for White Splatter. So this is that same brand as the liquid watercolor, but I've been seeing, I think it was, I think Kathy Zilski recently I saw use this, but I've seen quite a few people use this as like white splatter for your cards. So I'm excited about that. If I can open it. Looks a bit thick, a bit like acrylic. So I'll report back on this. See how it, see how it does. Oh, I had also gotten this from Trinity Stamp. This is my order. I've been wanting this for a while. This is the Fantastic. I love bats. And I think these little guys are so adorable. So this is a small stamp set, obviously. Got I Love You This Much. You Are Fantastic. Baddie For You. Cute little puns. That's Hangout. So, oh, these little, their little, look at their sweet little faces. I know a lot of people are creeped out by bats. Let me know in the comments. Do you like bats? I know I'm going to be in the minority here, but I love them. I find them adorable. I got this for free as a little giveaway. A little freebie from Trinity Stamps. It's cool. I'm a coffee drinker, but my husband and my daughter drink tea and coffee. So, I don't know. Very versatile there. And this is a freebie from Tailored Expressions. So it's handmade for the holidays. So it's so sweet. I love when these companies go that extra mile and give you all the, the free goodies. Also got this from Tailored Expressions. I want to try their Oreo cardstock. I did my comparison video. I'll also link that below. But I did a comparison of white heat embossing on various different black cardstocks. So I'm accumulating different brands. I'll probably do a follow-up video on that, um, trying out these different kinds, but I'm always in the market trying different black um, cardstocks to see, you know, what ones do the best with heat embossing. And then I think the rest here is going to be all my favorite things. So, okay, this must be a, a free gift that they got with their order. My Husband and daughter in cahoots ordering for me from my favorite things because they know I love it. So you got from my heart to yours, all my favorite things, MFT stamps handmade by Happy Meal. Or, happy. That sounded weird. Sound like I said Happy Meal. <laughs> We're not talking about McDonald's here. Okay, Happy Mail. <laughs> Sealed with a hug. Do not bend. Oh, that's cool. Do not bend. That'll come in handy. Anyway, little. 3 by 4 stamp. Okay, then we got this one. Adorable. Chillin' with you. Look at these bears. So funny. A little penguin with a fish on a line. So cute. So you're my berry best friend. Love chillin' with you. Happy birthday. Your friendship warms my heart. Super cute. Okay. This one, stoked about. I have no idea where they found it. I swear, I've been on the MFT website I don't know how many times and I've never seen this. So it's Birdie Brown Greetings Galore Spanish. So it's all Spanish sentiments. 
Seriously, I don't know where they found this, but I guess that speaks to how big and fun that website is. There's just so much in there. So check it out. And I might have, you know, I don't know if I'll have them all individually linked or if I'll link you. I'm not, I'm not sure how it'll work, but I'll do what I can in the video description box below. This is the Fine Finish Edge. So this would be cool to kind of give a little detailed edge. You can see there's a little dot here and then the, the edging here. So that would be nice to create a fun edge on a panel on your card or something like that. Okay, and then I have Warm Hugs and Frosty Kisses. It's another cold weather one. Ugh, it's bare with the scarf. It's too cute. A little penguin and a hot air balloon, igloo. So cute. So you've made this the merriest season ever. Warm hugs and frosty kisses. So I've got lots of stuff to play with for holiday cards and winter cards next year. This one is too cute. Friends at first sip. I've never seen this one either. I don't know how I've overlooked this, but this is all coffee themes. So they've got coffee and there's little critters with them. So happiness is a cup of coffee with a good friend. Let's have a coffee break. We're friends at first sip. You've always been there for me. <laughs> That's funny. You're the cream to my coffee. I love you, Aventi. <laughs> so, super cute. Coffee loving peeps out there. This one, you gnome me. Oh, I'm a sucker for these puns. I can't, I can't lie. So you gnome me so well. You're a friend like gnome one else. I dig you. So this is really cute spring, spring gnomes and whatnot. But obviously you could use these for holiday cards too. So pretty versatile, spring, whenever somebody likes gnomes, whatever works. And I think that's actually it. Guys, I told you I was uh, massively spoiled. I, I'm a little bit in shock, actually. So <laughs> I have stuff to keep me busy for a while. So watch for this stuff in future videos. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Like I said, I will link what I can in the video description box below. So I hope you guys all had a safe and lovely holiday with uh, friends and family. And I will check you next time. Have a great day. Bye.